initiative from the Church of England. This week the reflections are written by Mark Green and are there to help us finding God in our everyday life. The reading today is taken from the book of Ruth, which you will find in the Old Testament. And the title for today is Hope Beyond Our Lifetime. The reading of today feels a little bit strange at first, but it will become much clearer after the reflections. So we read from Ruth chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. Then all the people who were at the gate, along the elders, said to Boaz, We are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is coming into your house, like Rachel and Leah, who together build up the house of Israel. Through the children that the Lord will give you by this young woman, may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah. When we think about the future, we think about next week, next year, or maybe in five years' time. And we want the future to be bright, but not too far away. The prayer that the people of Bethlehem pray for Ruth and Boaz is a prayer that the impact of their lives would continue for generations. And the prayer is answered. Ruth and Boaz become the great-grandparents of the great King David. And so, in turn, the direct ancestor also of Jesus. God answered their prayer. But no one who prayed that prayer would have lived to see David crowned or even the birth of the Messiah. So this is a great encouragement to pray bold, multi-generation prayers. For the great-grandchildren we will never see, or the generation of our town, or the transformation of our nation that may be a hundred years away. But it's also an encouragement to pray, like the story we had two days ago of Adrian, uh, the supply teacher, who would come up and down in his classrooms and pray for his students individually in his heart. Maybe those prayers, the prayers for the people we meet every day, the prayers for the mums that we meet at the moment at the school gate, but that we then will not be able to see anymore once our children move schools. The prayer for a colleague to come to faith. Prayer for the people we meet at the shop or in our everyday activities. We will mostly not see the fruits of those prayers in our lifetime. But when the time is for God to bring about his good future, then we will see and we will realize the impact our faithful prayers have had on not just those around us, but the next generation and maybe beyond. So in response, think about the next generation in your family. What would you like to see God do in and for and through them after you've died. Do the same for your local church, your neighborhood, your community, why not your country and even the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that your purposes goes beyond our life. Help us to pray with boldness for our family, our community, and our church. Amen. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. God bless.